Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again with some breaking news. Mr. Bean has made a signing. We made a big signing. Is it a good one though? That is the question. Stay tuned and I'm going to let you know exactly who we signed right after this. I wish I Breaking news, we have signed center slash guard Spencer Long. Y'all are probably wondering, like, who? Spencer Long? <laughs> he, you mean, you, no, don't even try to guess. I'll just tell you who it is. Spencer Long, through trades during the draft with the Dallas Cowboys and the Redskins, the Redskins picked up Spencer Long with a 78th pick. Center from Nebraska, a Husky boy, 6'5", 320. That's a big boy. You know those country boys can eat. Those country boys can haul, right? So, I, I don't even know where to begin. Spencer Long isn't that guy that stands out, okay? He had his time with the skins, was a backup to the backup to the guy that got hurt, finally got his chance, and had a big year in 2015. 2015. Who was the quarterback in 2015? Oh, Kirk Cousins. Oh, wait, who was the offensive coordinator? Uh, McVay. So that year, putting those two together, had a monster year. And then here come the Jets knocking. The Jets gave him a $28 million deal. And pff, downhill from there. <laughs> My man only did a year with the Jets, and the Jets said, you got to go. You couldn't protect Sam Donald, you couldn't protect McCown. It just wasn't looking good. Now, it's not, it's not just on Spencer Long. It's on the whole Jets O-line. It was inconsistent all year long. If you want a good look at what Spencer Long was like, go to the Week 9 game with the Jets. Week 9, okay? And go look at that performance. That was a performance where he couldn't get the snap to his center. It was just inconsistent. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. He did have a very good year with McVay. So it, it makes me wonder what and how Mr. Bean saw in this signing where you have guys like Matt Paradis. I'm going to use my French accent for that one. Matt Paradis. You know what I'm saying? You got Mitch Morse from the Chiefs. You got Alan Marpet from the Bucks. You got Ryan Khalil. I'm not saying Ryan Khalil is a G, but those guys were above Spencer Long. And we have a Bodine that was hurt last year. So I beg you to, I, I want y'all to think about this. What? Why? Why did we make this signing? They just released this man to save $6.5 million. The Jets did. But here come the Bills. With all this money in the world, all this opportunity to save and protect your franchise, you go and pick up the guy the Jets cut. We already are suffering on the old line. And you bring in my guy now excuse me let me get my notes correct 45.4 pff grade that is a below average grading i then scratch my head again i'm trying to look at the positives people i am you know what i'm saying i, I mean i like the size six five you know what i'm saying two three twenty okay but i'm concerned we don't have a Sean McVay <laughs> under our coaching staff. Y'all know how I feel about Mr. Dable. We don't have a Sean McVay. I just, I, I'm, 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 I'm puzzled. I'm baffled. I am lost. I am perplexed with this move. Now, I've been wrong before, and I'll admit it. I've been wrong on some talent before. This one, this one's a head scratcher. Now, could it, could it be that we just wanted to get someone with some experience at the center position, which we could have got somewhere else. I just don't understand this move. And then we'll just throw the money at the two guard positions and the tackle positions. Is that what we plan to do in free agency? Mr. Bean, you got to talk to us, man. Some, someone needs to tell me something. Uh, the Jets released him and they're saving $6.5 million. That tells me that they say he's not good enough. We need better to protect our young quarterback. Uh, hello? Isn't that what we should be thinking as well? Uh, listen, folks, I, I <laughs> laugh with me here because I'm not sure what's going on. Um, here's the deal, man. <sighs> I'm, try I'm trying, folks. I'm trying. I'm trying. 
27 pressures. He only gave up four sacks last year, though. He only gave up four sacks, so that's that's a that's a that's, that's a you know what I mean? That's a victory, a small victory there. Um, but man, we had some choices, man. We had some choices. You know the big names that are out there. So I don't know if they've got if Bean has got some special plan. He's got something. He's got he's got some diabolical plan that he's got cooking up in the in the kitchen right now. And if he does, kudos to him because we are all in the dark on this one. But when we look at this at, on the surface of the deal, and you just look at Spencer Long as our starting center, boy, it makes me miss Eric Wood. When things like this happen, it just makes you say, hey man, we had someone all right in that position, man. We had someone good in that. I want to know your thoughts. Do, does someone know what I don't know? I know he's a smart individual. He was an all-American academic uh, student athlete. So he's got the smarts. So maybe Dable has some kind of special thing that he's got planned for him. But to me, you need your dogs. You need your athletes. You need your guys that, you know what I mean, that are consistently good, especially at the center position, especially at the center position. We have a young athlete in Josh Allen. Y'all got to save him, man. I'm, I'm questioning this move, man. I'm questioning this move, but I got to trust the process. So if this is part of the process, <sighs> I'm going to have to wait on this one. I'm going to have to let this, let this, uh, let this marinate. I'm going to have to let this marinate. So y'all listen to me. So this is it, man. Spencer Long has signed with the Bills on a three-year deal. More to come. I will promise you that. Let me know exactly how you guys feel about this deal. You like it? Do you not like it? Are you indifferent? You're not sure? Be on the lookout. Check out our IG page. I'm sure my man Bobby's going to cook something up and let y'all know a little bit more about my guy Spencer Long. So, we got to be happy with it, man. At the end of the day, he's a Buffalo Bill now. We got to show love. And you know what? Maybe he's a, he's one of those gems. Maybe he's a, he's a gem in the rough. Is that what we call it? A diamond in the rough? He might be. I hope. It's your boy, and I'm gone.